So I just opened the sprinkles here and uh, I just went all over the floor. So that's a great start to our video. What's up guys, it's your good friend Expo giving you the content that you didn't ask for, but I felt like making. Today, we're going to be uh, doing something a little different. I know that I say that on every single video that I do on this channel, and I probably should stick to a nice, good old schedule, but I don't. Anyway, today we're going to be cooking something a little disgusting. I was looking up things to uh, cook that aren't the greatest to do a new series here where I cook something, try it out, and let you know if it's good or not. So, series sounds like it's going to be shitty, but hey, let's give it a shot, see how it turns out. If you guys like this, I know I said this in uh, What's On My Mind, but if you like this, maybe I can do a little bit more of these, because it gives me something to do whenever I'm bored at home. So, today we're cooking dessert ramen, chocolate vanilla ramen to be specific. and. Basically, the recipe calls for brown sugar, chocolate syrup, vanilla extract, and one pack of ramen. And for a little extra pizzazz, I got this nice bottle of sprinkles that went all over the floor. So hopefully it's freaking worth it. So the description of this amazing recipe reads, this chocolate ramen dessert idea will probably make your mother cringe. So better not write home and tell her about it. It will, however, make your fellow doormates pound on your door for seconds, not minutes. Seconds. It says we're gonna need one package of any flavor ramen, crushed, save the seasoning for another day, damn it, that's no fun, one cup of brown sugar, chocolate syrup, and one teaspoon of vanilla. I didn't get the powdered sugar because it'd be too much of a mess, but hey, we got brown sugar, it's good enough. Okay, so step one here says boil the ramen in two cups of hot water with one cup of brown sugar added to it for three and a half minutes. All right, so let's do that. Yeah, I gotta wait for it to heat up. All right, wait, wait, I'm already messing up. I'm already messing up, guys. What kind of chef am I? I'm over here not measuring, not using a measuring cup. Jeez, y'all weren't gonna tell me anything? All right, so we need two cups of hot water. All right, so we got the water nice and hot. We're gonna fill this bad boy up to two cups. Eh, that's roughly two cups, that's fine. All right, so time to boil the water. The water on high, on the stove, we're gonna boil it. And in the meantime, in the meantime, what we can do is get this ramen packet and uh, take out my stress on it. So here we go. All right. So we got the ramen nice and crushed and now we need to uh, remove the flavor packet because they don't like to live life on the edge. So next step, we remove the flavor packet. Damn, this is really hard to do while holding something. Okay, so we got the ramen, ramen bag nice and open. Take the flavor pack, we don't need that. And uh, we're ready to roll. So we just need to have, wait for this uh, stuff to boil in here. We'll throw the ramen in with some brown sugar. Uh, let me go back and check the recipe real quick. So the recipe needs one entire cup of brown sugar added to it while it's boiling for three and a half minutes. That's a lot of sugar. Um, yeah, that's a lot of sugar. So, hey, well, whatever, uh, the recipe calls for it. Let's add it. So, one cup of brown sugar, here we go. Fill up our, uh... oh my God, this is taking too long. I said it's a shit ton of sugar. So, oh, frick! Ugh! All right, anyway, let's continue. If I can make it into the cup. Yeah, there we go. All right. 
Nope, not enough. Damn. This is gonna be uh, very sweet, I should say. That's about a cup. All right, so we'll take our stuff over here. We've got our ramen, our brown sugar, water's about to boil, we're almost good. Um, so when that goes, we boil that for three and a half minutes and then take it off boiling. I think we drain it. Correction, we drain 98% of the water. Not all of it, not 100%, we leave 2%. So I have to scientifically measure out 2% of that water and keep it in there so we can add the vanilla extract and add the chocolate and then the sprinkles for pizzazz and then give it a whirl. I've got brown sugar everywhere because clearly I'm an amateur at doing this, so bear with me. I'm doing my best here. Please bear with me. Anyway, guys, our water is now boiling over here. So what I'm gonna do is pour that shit in there and then turn the heat down just a bit. All right, three minutes. It says three and a half minutes, fuck. Sorry, I almost forgot that. Okay, so it says three and a half minutes, but I, I can't do halves on there, so. Anyway, so we're gonna boil this, looking nice and uh, scrumptious, I should say. All right. So we wait for that to boil for three and a half minutes, and then take it off. And then we're gonna take it off the heat, and afterwards we're gonna throw in our chocolate, our one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Did it say one teaspoon? Yeah, our one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then the sprinkles, like I said. I'm repeating myself because three minutes is a long time when you're videoing, so bear with me here. In the meantime, I'm gonna get a bowl ready uh, because we gotta have a bowl to eat out of. I'm not a freaking, I'm not a caveman. I'm not gonna eat out of a pot. What do you think I am? What do you think I am? I dubs? No. Anyway guys, our uh, brown sugar ramen concoction here is boiling, or sort of boiling, let me turn that shit up, come on, start boiling, there we go, there we go, that's what I'm talking about right there. Okay, so that is going to start boiling for a while, got about a minute and a half left. I'm gonna go 30 more seconds after this to get our exact three and a half minute time frame. Yeah, nice brown sugar boiling over here. All right, so I guess uh, while that's going, I will move over here, grab that and swipe this shit into the sink because that is a mess that I made. Okay, so now that we're all clean, I guess I can do some maintenance here in the meantime. All right, that's done. This, still need that, still need this. I do not have teaspoon measuring things, so I'm gonna be eyeballing it. How big is a teaspoon? That, that, that's about a teaspoon, right? It's a tablespoon. I don't know how big they are, okay? I, I, don't, I don't cook that often with measuring shit. I just eyeball it, all right? So, hold on, how much is this? Two ounces. How many teaspoons are in an ounce? Alexa, how many teaspoons are in an ounce? One fluid ounce is six teaspoons. Six teaspoons, oh. So, one, of this. Okay, so we got our three minutes. Alarm just went off. We got 30 more seconds, so. All right, that's about 30 seconds. Okay, so we're gonna drain 98%. 98%, not, not 100, 98%. God, that does not, that does not look good at all. That looks disgusting. So I'm gonna wait for it to settle for a second and then I'm gonna drain 98% of this water. Um, I'm gonna have to put this camera down while I do it. So give me a second. Did I really need to put that much water in here? Uh, no, 
that's about 96, 97. That's about 98%. All right, that's about 98%. We got a, a smidge of water left in there. So, all right, so we got 98% of that in there. Um, so we need one sixth of this to go into our concoction. So what I'm gonna do is flick that off and just went into the cat. Nope, did not go in the cat bowl. Uh, flick that off and then one sixth. That might have been a little more than a sixth, but oh well. It's hard, it's hard balancing, okay? All right, so we go, whoo! That was a little too much. God, I can smell it. I can see, I can smell it right now. Like, it's really bad. It's like the vanilla just overpowered everything just now. Oh, this is gonna be disgusting. You know what? Uh, Oh, God, I can't even compare it to anything. Shit, man, I put way too much. Mm. Okay, I'm sorry, I can't get over that smell. I'm gonna check the recipe for a second real quick. Give me a second. Okay, it says approximately one fourth of a cup of chocolate syrup. So hopefully this chocolate syrup can overpower the uh, vanilla extract. The vanilla extract here. So, ah, go on. God damn it. I'm sick of the vanilla smell. It stinks. It smells like a shitty candle. Okay, so one fourth of a cup. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just have some fun. That's about, that's about a fourth of a cup, man. Nah. Hopefully this overpowers the uh, vanilla here. So we got this going. Our disgusting, Vanilla ramen with chocolate in it and brown sugar. I think it's done, guys. I think it's I think it's done. So let's get the bowl. Let's put some of our heart attack in here. Let's see how this turns out. That Looks absolutely atrocious. <sighs> Yay, now it's colorful. <sighs> Actually, no, I've got a spoon. It's right here. Put this back over there. I don't want to do this at all. I really don't want to do this. That doesn't even look half good. Okay, all right, down the hatch. Down the hatch. I wanted to do this. I wanted to do this. I put myself in this in this situation. All right, let's go. I'm gonna do it. Full bite. That taste is not going to go away for a while. I may have gone a little too overboard on the vanilla. Because holy shit. That was, that was absolutely disgusting. If you took the vanilla out, then maybe it would be sort of edible. Sort of, it'd just be chocolate with sugar and ramen and sprinkles, of course, but oh my God, that, the vanilla, man, the vanilla, I can't, I can't do that. The, this, this is disgusting. I put way too much of that, and that is where I messed up. So, oh God. <sighs> okay, so 
Sorry, I gotta, gotta recollect here. So, ramen, vanilla, chocolate, brown sugar ramen is... Did I say ramen at the end and the beginning? Oh my god. Vanilla, chocolate, brown sugar, sprinkle ramen is absolutely atrocious. Do not try it. Your dorm, your dorm mates or whatever that, that article said, uh, they won't knock on your door for a minute. They won't even knock on your door for a second. They won't even knock on your door for a quarter of a second. That shit is nasty. Don't try it, don't do it, don't attempt it, ever. Ramen isn't good with that. Maybe if there was no vanilla, or if you took the ramen out um, and had just chocolate and brown sugar with sprinkles, that would be good as a topping on ice cream. But this, this is atrocious. This is disgusting. Don't eat it, ever. Oh my god, I don't know why I did that. <sighs> anyway, okay, so, so, uh, since that's done, um, I want to ask you guys, do you guys like this laid back cooking kind of stuff? Because it's pretty chill, this was easy to throw together. Uh, I can get more, like, nasty recipes and eat them for you and, and torture myself if you want, but... Yeah, this is really fun. I like doing this. It gives me something to do while I'm at home. Bored with the cat. So, um, yeah, behind me, you can see uh, I have saved the dates for my wedding. I am engaged. Uh, so, that's what that's for. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I got engaged in November. So I'm excited. But, yeah, she's at work. So, what does next Flo do when he's at home while his fiance is at work? Oh, he makes cooking videos now. Wow, horror channel making cooking videos. Uh, but anyway guys, uh, the reason I'm making this this week actually also is because I have a lot more free time because the video that I originally had scheduled for this week on Nexpo wasn't the best. It needed some work. Uh, I, I had written the script, I had recorded the audio, I was editing the audio. And it just wasn't, just didn't have that next boat punch, you know? And I, so I, I told you, I tweeted, Bleh, can you talk today? God, can you talk? So I tweeted, uh, hey guys, I'm going to be uh, scrapping the video this week. In place, I'll be doing a cooking video, maybe a live stream. Maybe I'll do a live stream tomorrow night. I, I'm not sure yet. But uh, So yeah, so that was the the reason for making this. Maybe I can do more because this was actually a lot easier and more fun than I thought it would be. Uh, if you want to see more of these, give me some shitty recipes to try and I will be sure to torture myself on camera for you in the future. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in five months. I love you all and good night.